Hey, good afternoon to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and early. It's 3.30 p.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. If you watch my channel, you know the reason I say that is because I'm usually here 12 hours earlier. And that being said, you guys will probably see this video Wednesday morning about 5 a.m. because I've already downloaded the uh, QAnon. I get all my information from all my news from QAnon video and I'd really like to let that play out and uh, I've, I've gotten a lot of great comments from you guys about the second anniversary of losing Audrey too and so th those two videos are still getting sufficient views so I'll probably wait to, to download this video. All right that being said uh, if you watch my channel, you, you probably know that I, I have no there's no love I, I don't have a whole lot of love for Jake Paul. Um, I'll be honest, a lot of it is, I'll, I'll be totally honest, a lot of it's sour grapes. I, I see this younger guy, younger than me. I, I've watched uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul the, the earlier days when they were on YouTube. And uh, and they're just, like I said, it, it was a lot of it was jealousy. I, I see these younger guys making money hand over fist doing crazy uh videos crazy stunts uh you know with these fancy cars I, I gotta admit a lot of it was a lot of it was jealousy and then once he got into boxing uh, there was a something there was quite a few things that rubbed me the wrong way uh, about jake paul one of them was when he stole floyd merriweather's hat i know it was a little thing but it just seemed like you know it just seemed like the kind of guy i can't freaking stand um but now there's a documentary, a Netflix documentary coming out, Untold, the Jake, uh, Jake Paul, the Problem Child. And there's a link down below. I, I found this story about what's about, kind of about this Netflix uh, documentary that's coming out. And it's Lo Logan Paul talking about his brother. And it made me actually come up with a lot of empathy or sympathy for uh, Jake Paul. That we have, we have a lot in common. I... Uh, Logan Paul said that he was terrified that Jake Paul would end his life, that a lot of the internet trolls were getting to him. Uh, it became very fashionable to hate on Jake Paul. And I, I got to admit, I was kind of one of those people. And I, I could relate to this. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. And I'm going to talk about your comments. And I'm, I'm going to be brutally honest um, and kind of fess some things up. Hey, let me just go over this. Uh, so, like I said, the clip's down below for this, and it, uh, it says, Jake has always been pretty uh, emotionally unpredictable and volatile. That's Logan Paul talking about his brother, Jake. Uh, Jake was always low-hanging fruit for internet trolls, getting backlash for wild pranks and outrageous stunts that led to uh, ticked-off neighbors, uh, losing his role on Disney's Bizarre, Bizarre Vark, I never even heard of that, and uh, lucrative endorsement deals. I, I didn't realize any of that. Like I said, it, it seems like he was, it was fashionable to hate him. And I, I got, it reminded me of, I, I get some comments, I get some, I get a lot of favorable comments, but I, I get some uh, less than, I get, I get haters and I get trolls here. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. When, when I first started this channel, um, I, I hit the, I did the bow of the fifth column video, and I got monetized, and my 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 uh, views went up, and I, I I really enjoy doing this channel. Um, I, I look at it as one of the things that I've accomplished in my recovery, along with my art business, painting and selling my artwork, uh, along with physical fitness, and that's going to play into a little more what I'm talking about too. Um, everything I've done in recovery and. YouTube is one of the things that I consider one of my successes, one of my goals. Um, the way I look at YouTube is I, I look at Bo the Fifth Column and his base, the basic video, the way he does his video. And now that I've been monetized, I, I, I look at him as a mentor. And being monetized, I feel like I've already had the foundation for a, a great channel. And, and it's my goal to grow this channel. I mean, money does play in a, par a part in it too, but along with that comes haters and trolls. I've talked, I talked about a little bit about these, some of these comments. When I first started this channel, I kind of lied. I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I said I was reading your comment, your comments a lot more than I was. Um, I just avoided them most of the time. I just avoided reading them, and you, you guys probably notice that sometimes. 
lately I've been reading them, and I and uh, like I said, I'll be honest again. A lot, a lot of times I kind of I, this sounds I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I kind of almost peek at them, like I roll them down. You know, I have to. I've told you guys this before. I, I, no matter how thick a skin you, you think you have, uh, these comments, comments stick with you. You know, even if you don't believe what the person's saying, even if you have confidence in yourself, these comments still affect you, you know? And, and I always told myself I have thick skin, I have confidence, and I do. Um, you know, so I, I, I go down, and like I said, I try to avoid seeing any any harsh or troll trolling comments. Um I came across a few recently, like I said, and even though I know they're not true, like I'll, I'll just use one for an example. Uh, one of the commenters just recently, this is somebody that comments just every day, and most of the time I, I just, it, it just rolls off. But this last time, he said something about I'm so arrogant and... I'm just like Donald Trump, and then the, these numbers that I had thrown out there, and that I lie all the time, and I'm, I'm such a big liar, and that comment, see, it, it, if, I, if I, I don't believe that stuff, but I, I start asking myself, like, you know, if anything, I'm brutally honest on this, this channel, I've told you guys this before, like, um, I don't have anything I need to lie about these days. So I wondered to myself, and when he said, he, he put down Donald Trump, so it, all, it kind of shocked me. Because I thought this was a Trump supporter, and I, I thought that's why he hated me. But then I realized he wasn't a Trump supporter. You know, so I was like, one of the people that's ideologi ideologically like me is bashing me. And that, that kind of threw me for a loop. And, um, and then the part about lying. You know, I just, I, I, I like, this guy actually believes that I'm lying about this stuff and, and the numbers and it, it's stuff like that. Just, it gets in your head. It really does. And I, I have to pick specific times when I, I'm in a good state of mind to read these comments. Um, no matter how thick skinned you are, it, it's hard. It, it's hard getting all these comments. I mean, for every, you get 10 great comments, like when the video I did with Audrey, about Audrey. And then you get one bad comment, and it just it sticks in your head. It'll stick in my head all day long, you know. And I, I know this stuff's not true, but I ask my, you know, I'm asking myself, why? How does this guy? How do these people? How does he see this? Why does he think this? You know? And I let it get in my head, and I could relate to, I could relate to what Jake Paul. You know, when I started reading this about how uh, there was a time that they were actually concerned, because I, I can't, I can't imagine having every comment being one of those comments. I mean, that, that would be hard to deal with. Um, and, and, kid, and the younger people nowadays take this stuff a lot more seriously. Another thing that I think people misinterpret how I come across, uh, they, that sometimes they think I come across as arrogant or uh, conceited. And you have to understand my point of view. Back when I was using, I had gone up to almost 300 pounds. I had lost all my teeth, literally, literally all my teeth. So I had all broken teeth off. This is in my, my 30s. Uh, I remember going to the bar one time, and one of my friends came in with some other guys, and he was always a, the cl class clown and everything. And he came in, and it was the bar was full, and he said in front of everybody, he said, he said, Daryl, if I give you a, if I give you a rock a crack, will you, will you get on your knees for it? What will you do? You know, he said something along those lines in front of the whole bar. And back then, you know, I was using and I, I didn't even stand up for myself. And it's memories like that and how much I've changed. You know, I, I've spent so much time and energy losing weight and fixing my teeth. And, but the, the, my point is, the reason I talk about this is, is I want other people to know that they can do this too. Um, a lot of times on Facebook, I put a before and after shot and it, I, I, I get a, sometimes I get very few likes and I remember talking to Audrey about this and it, you know, and I explained to her, it's, you know, it's not, a, it's not about conceit. It, it's about trying to encourage other people that if I could do this, you know, the, the, the point I was at 
three a hundred pounds heavier i lost i lost a hundred pounds and i've i've kept it off and i keep working out it's this drive that i believe that all the the energy that i took looking for drugs back in the other days the, the 24 24 7 i took that and put it towards a positive a positive pursuit and that's the message i try to get across but sometimes it comes across as arrogant or conceited and no matter how much you try to explain to somebody they don't want to hear it. They're just going to believe, you know, and that's what, you know, sometimes you, you can't even, that's one of the frustrating things too with these comments is you can't take the time. You, it's, not, it's pointless sometimes to even try to explain your, you know, that I'm, you know, I'm not arrogant. I'm just try, I'm really trying to encourage other people. You know, this is how, you know, this is what I was, I was, I was overweight. I was a, an addict. Uh, you know, I would take this kind of abuse in the bar uh, I wouldn't stick up for myself, and I'm, you know, I've, I've changed who I am. I've I've gone back to who I was supposed to be, and you could do this too. That's my point. Um, anyway, so I, I could kind of, when I read when I read this article about Logan Paul and how his family was concerned about all these people hating on him, I, I couldn't imagine that kind of that that kind of hate getting into your life. Really, no matter how much confidence you have in yourself. Like I said, even if you don't believe the stuff people are saying, you start asking yourself, well, why are they saying it, though? Why, you know, like, like the guy saying I'm a liar. You know, it's like that's one of the things I'm most proud of is that I don't have anything to lie about these days. I don't go anywhere. I don't, you know, my life's kind of boring, really, but I, I don't go places. I don't do things that I need to lie about. There's nothing in my life that I'm ashamed of or have to hide. And it's such a freeing feeling, you know, and then they get somebody like this saying that I lie about everything. You know, when I'm actually so proud that I don't have to lie anymore. And then so I spend the whole day asking myself, why would this person think I'm a liar? And that's just one person. And in this uh, this article, you know, Logan Paul is talking about his brother. You know, we're talking about thousands or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of people hating, hating on his brother. I can't imagine that kind of negativity in your life. And him being younger than me, a lot of these people, you know, I always ask myself, why don't they just get off social media? Just just turn off Facebook, or turn off YouTube. And like I said, it's just it's not that easy. YouTube, this channel has become a goal for me. And there, there's the people that talk about. Just the other day, I got a comment from somebody saying that they. Uh, I love the good comments too. I got a comment from somebody saying that they watch me every morning with their cup of tea. And it's people like that that make me that drive me to 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 do a to roll out of bed at 2 a.m. every single morning, because a couple people are waiting for my video. Um, it, it's not that easy to shut things to shut it off. It's become a goal. It's become a part of my life. So anyway, I, I hope this made some sense. Uh, I'm going to be a little easier on Jake Paul. You know, cause this this article did give me some insight, some empathy. Uh, for somebody that I was, you know, if I have to be honest, I was just kind of hating on him because I was a little bit jealous of his success with YouTube. And that's the truth. Uh, all right. I got another video coming up. Uh, Blueface, the rapper. I don't know him. I don't know his song, you know, his raps. I don't know his, his, I don't know much about him, but I came across an article, a video of him talking to his son, asking his son if he's gay. And his, his son's like three or four years old. And it's, uh, it's a heartbreaking thing to watch, and it reminds me of my own father, unfortunately. Um, that'll be the next video. You guys have a good Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever you're watching this.